Elon is one of those guys who is apparently, I mean, he, he appears to be a genius to me, but he really cuts through. I guess maybe it's his engineering background, the fact that he's constantly engineering. I think that motivates him to just cut through the nonsense. It's just what works, what's real. And he will just say that because it's true and because truth matters. So let's hear what he has to say here. Now, the thing that, that a lot of traditional journalists don't like is they don't like being put on the same platform as the average citizen. They don't like their voice being the same. They're pretty mad about that. I, I think it's very important to, to elevate citizen journalism. Uh, I think it's very important to hear the voice of the people, the actual voice of the people, not the filtered voice of the people. And let the people choose the narrative and let the people determine the truth um, and not five editors and chiefs of uh, major publications. Do you want to know what's really going on or do you want their opinion? You know, it's a handful of people. I think we want to know the voice of the people, the true voice of the people. So Vox Populi, Vox Day. The voice of the people is the voice of God. So his point about being that journalists don't like being on the same platform as the average citizen, because he took away all of their privileges on X when he, once he took over, and they didn't like that at all, right? They want to feel like as if they're in a rarefied space. I guess they must see it as kind of unfair because they really didn't have anybody to call them out. You know, once they all came to the same opinion and the same narrative, uh, they did, there was nobody to really call them out. I mean, what are you going to do? Letter to the editor, right? And things have changed now and they don't like it. They don't like it because they can get called out now. And it's not like it's even just like you go back 20 years, WMDs. Well, there's nobody really to call it out back then, unfortunately. I mean, there was small small you know media outlets it wasn't like today because you can find things out pretty quickly you can you can suss it out for yourself they don't like the fact that citizen journalists can do let's talk about the fine people's hoax a citizen journalist can hear about the fine people hoax on cnn and msnbc and they get it from the new york times or wherever right and within three minutes they can have googled that speech or that video clip and, just, and figured out that CNN, MSNBC, whatever, had edited the clip to make Trump look bad. A citizen journalist can do that in like three, four, five minutes. I did that in like five minutes. I went, oh, I want to see the whole clip. Oh, so that's not what he was saying. It's just a hoax. And the people on CNN that just told me that know that. They have to know that because it's like the next five seconds on the clip if you just keep playing it. So now we know the citizen journalist, who is just anybody really, who just <laughs> bothers to Google or DuckDuckGo or whatever platform, Brave, search, whatever, whatever platform you're on, whichever search engine you want to use, can just in a few minutes find out that they're lying, brazenly lying, hoaxing you. Journalists don't like that. So they have to try and discredit the people that would do this. Well, they're just... They're oh, citizen journalists. <laughs> That's not real journalism. Yeah, but I just found, like, I've got the clip here, and it it's obvious you edited it, you cut it, and then lied to us about it. Well, you're not a real journalist, though. Yeah, but, you know, the thing where you lied intentionally to try and fool us all? Yeah, they don't like it. They don't like have, getting called out and discovered. They don't like having their lies discovered, unfortunately. Hunter Biden laptop, lab leak, that was all misinformation. All misinformation. We they confidently told us that. Confidently told us that was all that was all misinformation. You're crazy. You're crazy. And don't do any of your own research because you don't even know how to read, probably. You don't know how to do journalism. Just ignore the fact that there's a lab right there where the whole thing came out of, right? <laughs> where the whole thing started. Just ignore that. You're not a journalist. What do you know? You're just one of the stupid hoi polloi. You're just one of the unwashed masses. What makes you think you could Google a clip of President Trump and watch the entire clip within five minutes and know that we're obviously lying and that we had deceptively edited a, edited a clip to trick you, to try and get you to not vote for the person that you want to vote for? What makes you think you're qualified to do that? I don't know. I have a computer. And I can read and write. I can use a keyboard. I guess that makes me qualified.
I don't know. It's enough to drive you mad, isn't it? Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.